Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. And today I'm going to share with you my favorite laundry products as well as my updated super simple laundry routine. So we recently did a laundry room makeover and I'll put a link to that video up top if you're interested in seeing that. But we are gonna go ahead and get started with the laundry. Um, just so you know, we have a family of four. Um, I have another laundry routine video that has some other things in it. I will also link that video in the description box below, as well as links to anything that I mention on here in the description box below. So today I'm gonna to be doing all of our laundry. It's a Saturday. I don't always do all of our laundry in one day, but a lot of times I do. And I will typically sort our laundry into a load of light clothing, a load of dark clothing, a load of sheets, um, and a load of towels. I was previously using this method ginger mango and I do like the smell of that and it works pretty well um, but I switched to something that I feel like is working a whole lot better for me so lately I've been using this Persil um, laundry detergent and I really really like it it has um, the smell of it is nothing fancy but it just smells like clean laundry which I really like I don't like a lot of strong scents or whatever but this has a strong enough scent that even if you use no fabric softener with any kind of smell, you, it still smells like clean, fresh laundry when you get done. So I don't feel like I need any other fragrance um, as far as other products like fabric softener and things like that or any kind of scent boost. I got this huge container of it at Sam's and it just has like a little, little cup where you can uh, pour that in to do your laundry. And surprisingly, I have found better results for fabric softener with just distilled white vinegar than any other fabric softener I've ever used. It does not leave a vinegar smell on your clothes. However, if you do have stinky clothes, workout clothes, kids athletic clothes, things like that, this will take the smell out. So um, this is what I've been using for fabric softener and then the Persil for the laundry detergent and I am loving both of them. So I'm starting my first load of the day, which is my towels. I only buy white towels. That way if they need to be bleached, I can bleach them. With the vinegar, I just put it in the same compartment that I would do the fabric softener. And I just make sure that I don't exceed the max. It probably ends up being around a fourth of a cup, maybe a little bit less. So I use about a third of um, this cup for a large load and that is always plenty. But we got tired. There's nothing left to do but to say goodbye. The vinegar was a game changer for me. Um, I don't like a lot of smells and things like that with fabric softeners. I hate using uh, dryer sheets because they actually leave a film on the sensor in your dryer. So it actually messes up how your dryer works. So I really cannot stand like a paper um, dryer sheet. So I do use wool balls in my dryer, but I no longer use essential oils on them or anything else like that because the Persil, like I said, has that really nice smell and it carries through all the way, um, so I really don't need anything else that's scented, and I love that. And the other thing I like about it is that it does not irritate my skin. I have very sensitive skin, and so does my daughter Sophie, and we can use that. It's a really strong detergent. It gets out all the odors. It gets the clothes really clean, but it doesn't bother our skin, and this video is not sponsored <laughs> by anybody, um, but I really do like this product, and I did want to share it with you. For my towels, I set it on heavy duty, which is hot water, um, high spin, and the soil level is heavy since it's towels. I'm not using any bleach in this load. I rarely use bleach on my towels, but I do like having white towels just in case I want to bleach them, I have that uh, option. I use this sorting basket. I actually got this for Christmas from my mother-in-law and I absolutely love it. It's got three different bags that actually come out. It actually holds a lot. Um, so I, I can usually get everybody's clothes to fit in there. Sometimes in that center one, I'll put like reds and really dark jeans and stuff like that, but I don't have a whole lot of that today. So I'm just gonna use my color catchers and um, just do all the darks together, do one load of lights. And um, so I'm just gonna sort Katie just brought her laundry down, so I'm just gonna add her stuff into what I've got here. 
Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. My towels just finished. I'm going to go ahead and move them over. Like I said, in my dryer, I just use the wool dryer balls. I don't put any essential oils or anything on them. I just let them go like that. I don't use any dryer sheets. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, I really wanna know I'm gonna use vinegar and the same detergent for my clothes Down, I will keep on searching for my highs. And then the most important thing is if I'm using, um, if I'm doing a load of colors, I add a shout color catcher. That way you can wash blue jeans with lighter colors or reds or things like that that are more than likely going to fade. And the color catcher just catches that. Now I'm down to one load of clothes. I may do sheets today or I may do it tomorrow. Um, another cool thing about this clothes sorter is it's on wheels. I actually keep this in my um, bathroom and I just roll it in here when I'm ready to do the clothes. So here's the color catcher. And it's got a lot of staining like blue jean denim one here it goes in like a really white and comes out sort of like faded gray all of that extra color floating around your washing machine is why clothes they just start to look dingy over time so I'm gonna do my lights the exactly the same as I did my darks I'm gonna do them on cold and I'm gonna do them on permanent press Dryer really well, and they don't shrink. And also, using the wool dryer balls helps the drying time a lot. But there's a special place in my heart that's yours forever. If I could fly, fly right back to where I belong, fly right back to my home sweet home. If I could, I'd take it all back, take it all back and fly high up above the open sea into another destiny. I close my eyes. because that way you don't have mold growth in your washing machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Oh.